61A lecture number 29. Announcements. Homework 10 is due today. Do it. I know that doubts are annoying in scheme. Getting rid of them and counting them can be challenging, but of course it's also excellent tree recursion practice. That's why we ask these questions. As for the process of automatically differentiating uh, expressions, well, that's historically significant, which is what it says in homework 10. But it's also something that happens a lot in modern artificial intelligence applications, where it's important that we be able to take derivatives of very complicated functions. And the kind of procedure that you're writing in homework 10 is quite similar to what happens in automatic differentiation for deep learning and neural networks. The scheme project is released. I hope you start it. I hope you've already started it. If not, you should start it soon. You do need to submit part one by next Thursday and part two by the following Tuesday to get full credit on the project. And if you submit everything a day before it's due on Wednesday the 15th, then you can earn an early bonus point. Lecture 27 described the structure of the project. Lecture 28 described how to solve the tail recursion extra credit point. And this lecture will talk about the extra credit question where you need to implement the define macro special form. This is also a truly historic moment in CS61A, a course that has been taught at Berkeley longer than most of you have been alive. We've always talked about covering today's topic in the course, but as far as I know, there has never been a 61A lecture on this topic. And so, there's a first time for everything. I'm quite excited about teaching you a feature of the scheme programming language that some people think is too advanced to be appropriate for an introductory course, but I think it's just cool, so you have to see it. Now it is an extra credit topic, meaning that uh, you can choose to skip the extra credit question on the project, and uh, I'm not gonna ask you about macros on a final exam. This is just uh, for your edification. If you wanna learn why people get excited about Lisp and Scheme, here's one of the main reasons.